Now he served his country during World War II, lived to be the oldest veteran in the U.S., and he called Austin, Texas home. Richard Overton is an inspiration to scores of Americans, and you really felt that during the final years of his life. Many remembering him for his sharp mind, kind soul, and penchant for Tampa sweet cigars and the occasional glass of whiskey. Well, tonight, KXN's Gary Cooper is taking us inside the home of Richard Overton, along with his family members, who share some of the memories they have of the veteran and how even in death, Overton still manages to give back. When you've had a life like Richard Overton's, awards and memories are plentiful. But what's a life like that if no one can appreciate it in person? And they show much love to him. And I That's one that. reason Martin Wilford, a cousin of Overton, was kind enough to share some of the memories. That's when he used to work, Mr. Overton, I used to work with Ann Richards. Overton served in the Army in World War II, came back home to Austin, and lived in this house for more than 70 years. And then this was him. When he was younger. When he was younger. Yeah, and his wife, Wilma. From meeting presidents to having a sculpture made in his honor, to simply enjoying a Tampa sweet cigar, he seemingly was larger than life. I have never met a person so wonderful that loved everyone. He was the, the number one person that I would look to. And he was a person people could trust in his neighborhood. He will watch your house if you want to go on vacation. They say, hey, Mr. Overton, I'm going to California. Here's the key. He said, okay, I take care of it. That's one reason his family wants to fulfill his wishes. So you were telling me before then this was his wishes, right? Yeah, to make it his wishes. Okay. For Rama and I to be sure that this be a museum. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen, God's willing. Having his house turned into a museum is fitting, especially for a man who placed everyone else before him. Gary Cooper, KXAN News. Overton's funeral will be held on Saturday, January 12th at the Shoreline Church's North Campus on Burnett Road in Austin. It will be open to the public. Services begin at 11 in the morning. Overton will then be buried at the Texas State Cemetery.